Hey, I'm Liz. This is Batman, and you're watching Freaking Bookworm. Today I'm reviewing The Walking Dead, number 83. I'm probably the last person to read this this month, so um, it's going to be completely full of spoilers. So if you haven't read it yet, if, you know, for whatever reason, if you're just getting started on the series, or if you just haven't um, gotten that far this month, this is where you stop and you come back after you've read it, because I'm just going to lay it all out because this issue is just huge um even it was regular size but i mean huge like a lot of shit happened <clears throat> so this is part four of the no way out story arc um i really like that they put the title of the story arc on the top because when i was reading the hardcovers i knew what the story arc was but when i switched to the monthlies when i started getting caught up I had no idea what the story arc was, and people would be, like, talking about it, and I'm like, how do they know? So, um, so yeah, in this, um, issue, everyone's trying to escape in some way, um, Glenn, Andrea, and their little group are already out, they're kind of organizing a further escape, um, Rick Michonne, what's her name, it's, I remember her kid's name, Ron, but I can't remember her name, it's kind of sad, um, and Carl are trying to get out. My dude, whose name I can't remember, I really need a character list here, <sighs> and his chick, his chick Rosita, are hiding, which, I don't know, that seems really out of character for him. Usually he's like, you know, at the, you know, he's like, he's kind of replaced Tyrese in a way, like, and he's been like Rick's, um, Abraham, that's his name. He's been like Rick's, like, right-hand man. So, the fact that he's just hiding, I don't know. Um, Maggie is also hiding, but she actually has a good reason. She's, she doesn't want anything to happen to Sophia. So she thinks that by hiding, you know, their, their chances of surviving are better. I honestly don't think so. But at the same time, I can't blame her. Because we all saw what happened to the kids last time. So anyways, um, in this issue, Morgan got bit last issue, so he kicked the bucket in this issue. And Michonne was really upset. Honestly, I was not upset at all. I was kind of just like, huh, okay. Because, I mean, you know, we kind of knew it was going to happen. And, you know, once he got bit, that was it. It just kind of sucks because he was the oldest character next to Rick. So now Rick is officially the oldest character. Uh, Douglas. It, he, he considers killing himself. Um, I keep looking down because I've got notes because my brain is like this big now. and So I need notes. I take notes during everything I read now. <laughs> um, so yeah, Douglas thinks about killing himself. He's like literally got the gun to his head. And then for whatever reason, he decides he's going to come out shooting. Except he ends up actually attracting the zombies to Rick and Michonne and Carl and What's-Her-Face. And um, Rick is like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? You're going to make it worse. You're going to attract them to us. And he just, I don't know. He's like in this like crazy moment, I guess. I don't know. Um, he gets killed. But in the midst of the shooting, um, yeah, you know, Rick turns, you know, what's his face gets killed. Douglas gets killed and, uh, or eaten. And... Then Rick turns around, he's like, is everybody okay? And this is what he sees. Yeah, I opened that spread and I, it's a nice, huge two-page spread here. Let me go this way so you could get the full effect. And he's like, Dad, I opened that spread and I was just like, oh, I did not see that coming. Um, like, holy shit doesn't even cover it. I, you know, I did, who's gonna live and who's gonna die? And Carl never even never even came to mind. Like, I did not even, totally didn't see that coming. Robert Kirkman, how could you? So this issue ends with Rick um, turning around and carrying Carl back to the um, house, to the doctor, and asking her to save Carl. Now, I don't know about you, and I just closed this too, so I lost the picture, but I don't think this is fixable. <laughs> oh, I got fingerprints all over that. I'm sorry. Damn. So, yeah. Um, I think Carl's gonna die. Because I just don't see how that's 
that's fixable. I mean, Robert Kirkman's been trying to be really realistic with this, and, you know, even though this is a comic book and it's entirely possible for um, the doctor to fix Carl's brain missing, like, I mean, come on, it's like straight through. Um, I don't think so. I think we're going to see Rick really lose it. Rick has been losing it, and Carl was the only thing keeping him going. So we're going to see, I think, I think we're going to see Rick really fucking lose it. Yep. Um, that's all my notes on this. Um, the only thing I did want to tell you is that the letters section said that 84 wraps up No Way Out. I know some of you don't read the letters section I do because I'm weird, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it says that 84, number 84 is going to wrap up No Way Out. So something drastic is of course going to happen which makes me really think that Carl is going to so um I don't know what do you think do you think Carl's going to make it or do you think are you with me do you think he's going to die let me know um yeah so let me know about that and let me know what you thought of the issue as a whole I thought it was really good I thought it moved really fast um it definitely picked up from the last couple issues like you know this pace has been building and building so we finally got the slap in the face that this has been building up to um so let me comment and tell me what you think and i'll see you next time bye